Welcome back again mga kataksosyo. We are almost done in our bookkeeping discussion. So today's vlog is all about your sales journal. Again, you are only required to use the sales journal if you are a VAT registered person or entity. To be classified as VAT taxpayer, either you have to voluntarily elect upon your business registration with BIR that you want to avail of value-added tax. And of course, if you reach the threshold of 3 million annual gross sales. Madaming naghahanap kay Kasungot. Unfortunately, may sakit si Kasungot at bawal lumabas. Under observation pa ang kanyang blood pressure. Dahil sa sobrang katakawan sa crispy pata na niluto nila ati Ria at Kuya Gab niya. Don't worry, next week magbabalik na po si Kasungot. Pero hi daw muna kina Ati Glean, Tetet, Maisel at Kuya Aaron niya. May pasalubong daw siyang milk tea sa pagbabalik niya next week. So abangan natin yan mga kataksosyo. Again, last time we discussed on how you record your accounting transactions in your purchase journal and how transactions are posted in your general ledger. Again, to summarize what we have discussed now under bookkeeping, mga kataksosyo, as part of the BIR requirements, napag-usapan na natin yung cash disbursement journal, cash receipts journal, general journal, at general ledger. And if you are VAT registered taxpayer, you are required by BIR to submit another books and these are purchase journal and sales journal. So let's start na mga kataksosyo so we can now complete the accounting books tutorial as mandated by the tax code pursuant to bookkeeping regulations. So this is our sales journal mga kataksosyo and as I mentioned earlier, we will discuss the last accounting book and how transactions are posted into your general ledger. In fact, mga kataksosyo, wala namang difference sa mga past tutorials natin at same approach or procedures lang ang gagawin natin. But to complete the process, I will be showing to you as well on how to perform your month-end closing. Again, mayroon na tayong prepared sales journal na ginawa ko kanina. Essentially, your sales journal is used to record all credit sales na kung saan ang resulta nito ay nagde-debit tayo ng account receivable and credit sales for goods or revenue for service. So, this is our ready-made sales journal, mga kataksosyo. And same information lang din na dapat properly labeled yung year, date, and month. Then, in your next column, since tayo yung seller ng goods and or services, we are going to indicate yung commercial document na ini-issue natin sa customers. And then, as mentioned earlier also, yung debit natin for sales journal is always account receivable. That is why, in our first column under accounts, ay account receivable or AR. Then, followed by output VAT clearing. Again, Ito yung opposite side ng purchase journal. Since VAT registered yung seller, it is required to charge 12% VAT in the price of goods or services natin. Then, we also have output VAT na parehong mayroong credit normal balance kaya nasa under credit sign sila. Then lastly, your credit is always sales or revenue depende sa nature of the transaction. So, pag... Uh, if you're into selling of goods, sales. If you're into selling of your services, revenue naman yung account na gagamitin natin. So, assuming on February 3, 2020, we sold an office supplies to EFG Enterprise worth of 30,000 pesos na supplies. And it's VAT exclusive. Or wala pang kasamang 12% VAT. And to comply with the invoicing requirement of BIR, pursuant to Section 237 of the NIRC, as amended, we issue or issued sales invoice to our customer. That is why, under, under our particulars for invoices, 
on February 3, we issued sales invoice number 001 to EFG Enterprise as our customer. So since VAT exclusive pa yung 30,000 pesos sales natin, in order to get that 12% VAT, we need to multiply the 30,000 30, pesos by 12%. So yung output VAT amount natin ay 3,600. And your total sales plus VAT is now 33,600 pesos. Kaya ito yung total accounts receivable natin sa customer, mga kataksosyo. For the withholding, you have the options to record the tax credit receivable. Kung alam yun naman na yung payer or buyer ninyo is required by BIR to withhold 1% or in short, your buyer is classified by the BIR under LT or large tax payer as stamp or medium tax payer. Pero pag hindi ka naman sigurado, it's okay na to record uh, a tax credit receivable account in your books. And then on February 28, we rendered our service to AFG Enterprise pa din for HR training services. And we build the customer amounting to 20,000 pesos inclusive of VAT, meaning may kasama ng 12% output VAT yung 20,000 pesos natin. So, to compute for your revenue, since this is a sale of service, we need to reduce the 20,000 by 12% in order to arrive at your total revenue. So, in this case, 20,000 divided by 1.12 is equal to 17,857.14 as your revenue under your sales journal. And that will percent of 17,857.14 is 2,142.86 is your output VAT clearing amount naman. And your total accounts receivable would be 20,000 pesos. Again, if it is a sale of goods or services, the reckoning of when to record your output VAT is by the issuance of your principal invoice, as I explained also in our purchase journal topic, which link will be provided uh, later at the end of this video. So, to fast forward, mga kataksosyo, to close this month, no, yung February transaction natin, you have to total lang yung per account. So, accounts receivable, your output but clearing, so on and so forth. And of course, mga kataksosyo, don't forget to indicate or write the nature of transactions under the column of nature or of transaction. And if you want also to add another column for the customer, pwede naman like what we did sa cash receipts journal. I am giving you a sample on how you can add information into your accounting books. So you have the free will naman to do that, no? And sa bookkeeping naman mga kataksosyo, mayroon ka namang freedom to add information or other details sa libro mo as long as yung pinaka-basic and required information are available like year, date, month, your particulars of course, and your debit and credit and accounts with account description or name. Again, sa ating general ledger, same approach and procedures pa din. To refresh you mga kataksosyo, our general ledger as our book of final entry is a summary of your debits and credits. So from your sales journal, ililipat lang natin yung mga accounts from your month of February na galing nga sa sales journal papuntang general ledger hanggang sa maubos lahat ng accounts mga kataksosyo. So, paulit-ulit lang talaga, no? It's like doing a copy-paste thing, no? Doon sa, from our sales journal, papunta sa ating general ledger. Lastly, mga kataksosyo, I will give you a quick overview on how we perform our month end closing since we almost now completed the five books of accounting. So, using the February example, since kanina under our sales journal, natotala natin yung mga balances per account, mga kataksosyo. 
then in your general ledger under our accounts receivable we also totaled na our debit side and credit side respectively so for our february mayroon tayong galing sa general journal amounts to 6000 pesos and 53600 from your sales journal naman so for the month of february we have an ending balance of 59600 under your debit side and nil or zero in your credit side mga katakso itong examples natin for the month of february has no relationship at all from your previous month the tutorials per book ay on a per scenario or assumption basis and then since magmamant and close na tayo mga katakso we need to compute for our year to date balance as of february 2020 so, for our, our account receivable account, we have 50,000 pesos as a credit balance from your uh, month of January. Then, minus uh, 59,600 na nakaka-debit balance naman sa month, for the month of February natin. So, our year-to-date balance or YTD balance is 9,600 pesos. So, just properly label lang mga katak-sosyo that your 9,600 pesos is your as of balance as of February 2020. Then, same lang yung process na gagawin natin sa lahat ng mga accounts natin for the month of February hanggang maubos ulit natin at malagyan natin ng YTD uh, balance as of February 2020. So, ganun lang siya kadali mga katak-sosyo pag nagmamant and close tayo or nagsasara tayo ng libro natin on a monthly basis. Thank you mga katak-sosyo for joining me until the last day of our bookkeeping tutorials. To summarize what we have accomplished so far in our business registration process, we were able to understand and have an idea on how to register your business with DTI, local government units or your LGUs, and of course with BIR. Then, we also discussed the invoicing requirements at kung bakit nire-require tayo mag-issue ng resibo. Then, we just completed our bookkeeping tutorials. So, somehow, tayong mga nasa small, medium enterprise business alam na natin kung paano gamitin ang ating mga columnar books at mag-perform ng month and closing. And I am so happy that for almost 2 months, andyan pa din kayo na sumusuporta sa aking YouTube channel. There are times that I get tired and feeling useless yung ginagawa ko but there are friends who are pushing me to go forward and look at the brighter side that there are also people that listens and watch to my channel. Again, thank you and we have just passed the 500 subscribers mark and as of this video, nasa 521 subscribers na tayo. So, hoping na hindi na mabawasan pa at sana madagdagan na lang yung subscribers natin. So, see you next week for our value-added tax topic. Knowing the difference of non-VAT from VAT and its benefits to the taxpayers. So, happy weekend mga kataksosyo! Under observation pa ang kanyang blood pressure dahil sa sobrang katakawan sa crispy pe... Crispa! Don't worry, next week magbabalik na po si Kasungot. Pero hi daw kina Ate Glian, Tetet, Maisel at Kuya Aaron niya. May pasalubong daw siyang milk tea sa pagbabalik niya. Madaming naghahanap kay Kasungot. Ito na talaga, last na to. Madaming naghahanap kay Kasungot. Unfortunately, may sakit si Kasungot. Ah! If it's a sale of goods or services, the reckoning again. Uh, if it's a sales of goods, again, 
Ito final na. Again, if it's again, ito final na. Again, ito oh, final na. Final na talaga. Again, if it is a sale of goods or services, the reckoning of when to record your output VAT is by the issuance of your principal invoice as I explained also in our purchase journal topic. 